Knitscape is a design and simulation tool for slip and tuck color work patterns in knitting. Color patterning is one of many design elements knitters can mix and match while creating garments. There are many ways of adding color to a knit, each with their own limitations and possibilities. Perhaps most well known is Fair Isle, where a design is produced on one side of the fabric by alternating the yarn color appearing on the front of the fabric. However, this adds floats of yarn to the back. We can also use slip and tuck stitches for color work with different effects. Slipped stitches are held for multiple rows while the yarn passes behind them, and tucked stitches are held for multiple rows while additional loops of yarn are added to the needle. This pulls up yarn from a prior row to hide the yarn currently in work. In Knitscape, patterns are designed by specifying a base stitch pattern repeat and a color sequence. Knitscape also includes a swatch simulation, which is a yarn level simulation of the color pattern. By changing these inputs and rerunning the swatch simulation, we can quickly explore the knit color work design space. Knitscape can export PNG charts for hand knitting, as well as BMP or TXT files for manual machine knitting. Here is how we would knit a swatch on a Silver Reed SK840, which is a manual machine with digital needle selection. First, we cast on 40 needles with our main yarn using the E-Wrap method. We knit one row with the carriage, and push the needles out to ensure that they knit off correctly. We knit a few more rows and hang weights. With a nice set of border rows, we can begin stitch patterning. We start the software and set the carriage to slip and begin knitting. We check the stitches to make sure that they look good and move the carriage back to drop off the color in the color changer. We add the contrast color to the carriage. We knit a row and check the stitches. And move back to the color changer again. Now that the color changer is set up, it will automatically switch between the two colors each time the carriage enters. Knitting the color change portion of this swatch took about one minute. Once we finished, we knit a few more rows and clipped the yarns. We removed the swatch by moving the carriage without yarn to release the stitches. Now we can inspect our swatch and use it to make decisions about how to proceed. We might use it to get the stitch and row gauge to calculate the measurements of a full garment, or we might decide to iterate on the pattern again in Knitscape. Either way, swatching is a very important part of the knitting process. We are very excited to keep improving Knitscape in order to explore lightweight ways of supporting knitting practice with computation.